Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson and today I'm doing a quick rundown on how to use the time-lapse app available for selected NEX cameras. Basically this app allows you to take a series of photos over a period of time and combine them all into one short clip. It's a great feature to have and I sort of wish the alpha cameras had this feature but it is a welcome addition on the NEX lineup. Uh, in this demo I'll be using the NEX 5R and at the end of the video, I'll show you a few short clips that the time-lapse app created. The first thing you need to do is download the app from the Play Memory service. It does incur a cost, so get your credit cards ready. At the time of launch, it was $10. Once that's done, open up the app by selecting it in the Applications menu, and it will open up straight away. You'll see two options. We'll start with the one on the left first. As you can see, you are faced with different options for how to shoot your time-lapse video, from shooting in the normal program, aperture, shutter, and manual modes, to adding miniature effects and automated settings for different scenes. Once you've selected your preference, hit the option button to set up how to take your time-lapse video. You can select either 24p or 30p, and you have the option for your camera to take just still images. Next, you can either select to have a 2 second delay or not. And then you have the option to select the intervals in which you take your photos, and lastly, the number of photos you take. As you can see, the most you can take is 990 shots. It also has a timer on the bottom right hand corner, indicating how long the shoot will last for, which is very handy if you want to organize your time. Once that's all set up, you just need to press OK, press the shutter button to start your time lapse, and wait till it's finished. To have a quick view of your past time-lapse videos, go to the main menu and select the play button. Note that this is just an image index and not the whole video. It's a bit tricky to find the video for your time-lapse when you have the camera or memory card connected to your computer. So the first place you have to go to is the private folder and then Sony and then app TLPS and there should be some folders with the dates of your videos so just select one of them and you'll find them there it's a great app that allows time-lapse photography to be even easier for the user since you don't have to do anything in post and it's all done inside the camera it does have a few limitations but all in all it does its job very well Right now I'm going to be leaving you with a few short clips with the time lapse function in different settings and until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching.